Hey guys, it's Cam, and today I'm going to be doing a review on three very common hamster huts. Alright, let's get started. First up is this tree trunk hideaway, and I'll have the prices in the description box below. I found this on Amazon, and my only real big problem with it is now Hamelina doesn't always sleep in it because it is a tiny bit small for her, but that's just a little thing. Now, this hut can be used in many different cage themes, which I think is nice. It has three um, air holes on the top, which is also nice, and a big opening. The width of the bottom of the hideaway is 17 inches, and the height is around 4 inches. Now starting the rating, I'm going to start on durability. This gets a 5 because the plastic is very thick and I haven't had any problems with it. Now for flexibility for cage themes, this gets a 5 as well because I, you can use it in many different cage themes and that's really nice to have. And lastly is size. Now this would be great for dwarf hamster but I did give this a 3 because it is just a little small for a Syrian hamster. That's pretty good. Next, onto the pink igloo. Now, I really, really like this because it is rather large, um, even at the small one that I have here. It has um, a lot of space on the inside and a rather large opening, perfect for a Syrian hamster and a dwarf, too. It does have spikes on it and makes it kind of look like an igloo. The one bummer is it cannot really fit into natural cage themes, but otherwise, I really like this hut. Now the um, width without the tunnel is um, 15 inches, but with the tunnel it is 18 to 20. I didn't get it exactly right because it was kind of hard, but um, I'm guessing there's more close to 20. That's why I did that weird thing with my fingers. Now the height without the spike is about three inches, but the height with the spike is a full four inches, which really is a lot of space once again. Now on size, it gets a solid 5, which is really good, obviously. Now on flexibility with cage themes, this gets a 4 or kind of a 3 more because you can't really use it in natural ones. Lastly on durability, this gets a 3 to kind of a 4 because it is really thin plastic and it can be chewed up easily. Overall, that's pretty good. Now, lastly, I have the Snack Shack here, and this is an adorable little tiki hut with m m most of you are probably familiar with the Snack Shack tunnels, and this has that same um, texture on the bottom and then straw for the top. So, now let's get into the width and the height. So, the width is about 15 inches, and then the height is about... Um, six, including the very top of the tiki hut, but inside it's probably only like four inches high. All right, let's get into the rating. For cage theme flexibility, it gets a three, and that is because um, it doesn't match a lot of other natural wood products, so that's a bummer. But for um, size, it gets a five because it's very spacious, and for durability, it gets a five too. Part, so yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!